All right, we're ready to go. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. Uh, we are going to get started here in just a second, but before we do, I just wanted to offer a quick reminder uh, for our class today. If you uh, don't have some uh, wooden spoons yet, uh, mom did spoons. I, I brought these home from the gym. And so if you have wooden cooking spoons or uh, Teflon uh, spoons, if you dare to go metal, you know, something essentially that we can drum with would be perfect for activity today. And then uh, the other thing that we need for class is a beam. Got to adjust my screen here. Sorry. Uh, there we go. I think you can kind of see my beam. Um, I opted for the tape beam. So if you don't have um, a tape beam or a beam already set up, uh, once we get to the gymnastics portion, you're just going to want um, some sort of line, some sort of straight line that your child can walk along and um, and practice their beam skills on, all right? So without further ado, we're gonna get started. Uh, we're gonna do our warm-up song to begin. So if you, you wanna find a nice open spot to sit down, I'm gonna get our song ready, and we're gonna be learning the different parts of our body, all right, kiddo? So we're gonna be wiggling our toes, we're gonna be wiggling our knees, we're gonna be shaking our hands. So make sure you're listening with good listening ears to the song, so we know what part of our body we need to move, okay? All right, so here we go. As soon as it starts playing. We're gonna wiggle our toes. Here. 
All right, so if you can sit in your straddle stretch, so you're going to have your legs apart, and we're going to reach up high, and we're going to clap three times. Ready? Go one, two, and three, and we're going to reach for one foot. Try to keep your legs straight and your knee down. Good job. All right, arms up. We're going to do two claps. Ready? Let's count. Go one, two, and reach for your other foot. Good job. All right, and let's put our arms up for one big clap. Ready? One, and we're going to reach for the middle. Try to keep those legs straight and reach as far as you can. Oh, and good. And we're going to shake our legs into the middle. Shake, 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 shake. Today we're going to work on our listening, so keep shaking your legs. And now start to shake your arms and shake your whole body. And stop. Did you listen? I hope you did. All right, so we are in our pike position. I'm gonna twist so you can see my legs better. My legs are together, and I'm gonna reach up, and I'm gonna flex my toes so they're pointed back at me. Can you point your toes now? Point and flex. And we're gonna touch our toes three times. Ready? We're gonna go one, all the way back up, Two, all the way back up, and three. Good job. Okay. Now we're going to take our leg. We're going to pick it up. I'll go sideways again so you can see. And we're going to rotate our foot. We're going to draw a picture. Can you move your foot to draw a picture? What are you going to draw today? Uh-huh. I think I'm going to draw a picture of a tulip because the tulips are starting to grow in my yard. All right, all different colors. And now bring that knee in and give it a big hug. Oh, so good to see you. Right knee. Okay, good. Now we're gonna lift up our other leg and we're going to move that foot. All right, you can draw another picture. I'm going to draw a picture of, hmm, a kite flying in the sky. A nice big, um, Dragon kite flying all around. My boys just got a couple of kites. So those are on the mind. All right, now that we've drawn our second picture, we're gonna bring our knee in, give it a big squeeze. Oh, and a kiss. Good job. All right, now can we bring our feet together? Feet together, and then you can take your hands. We're gonna grab our feet, and we're gonna flap our wings. Where do you wanna to fly to today? Anywhere? How about? Porto Backyardo. That's a thing these days, right, parents? Um, the backyard. We're flying back there. What are we going to do? Uh, we're going to fly around to maybe the different plants. Or we can fly around and follow a butterfly. Keep flapping your wings. Good job. Okay. Now we're going to go crisscross our legs, arms out wide. We're going to do one big clap. Ready? Clap. And you're going to roll your wrists. Roll, 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 roll. All right. And let's shake them. Shaking them, shaking them. Hello there. We're shaking them. Okay. Now we're going to do our table. Do you remember our table? I hope you do. If you're not sure, this is what we do. We put our hands down behind us. Our feet are flat in front. And we're going to lift our belly up. Good job. And we'll come back down. Why don't we try that one more time? Ready? Gonna put your hands flat, feet flat on the ground, and you're gonna lift your belly up. Good work. I think I could eat lunch on that table. Nice and flat. Perfect. All right. Now, rock and roll. So we want the child to grab their legs like this. You may need to support them with your hand um, on their upper back, right up here, and then you can have another hand on the front. So one hand, one here, parent, one hand on your child's upper back. Adeline didn't want to do class today, so I'm solo. Uh, and your other hand on your leg, on their legs rather, and you can kind of control their body as they rock back and forth if they need help going backwards and forwards. Um, I'm old enough that I can do it by myself, and um, maybe your child is too. But we're gonna hold our knees. We're gonna rock back. And we're going to roll forward. Why don't we do two more? Ready? Rock back. 
Roll forward. Good. One more. Rock back. And roll forward. How about one more table? Ready? And push. And lift a hand and wave. Hi. Good to see you today. Hope you're having a good day. We're going to have a lot of fun today, okay? And come back down. Excellent. Okay. Now, today's activity is sticks, okay? So if you have your wooden spoons or whatever mom or dad got for you so that we could do sticks today, you want to grab those, all right? I have, anyone know what color stick this is? Might be a little bit hard to see. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, you got it. It's orange. Good job. What about this one? What color is that? Is that purple? A purple stick? No. It's green, right? It's green. So I have an orange and a green stick. Very Irish. I'm not a lick of Irish, but we'll go with it. So we're going to do sticks today. I need you to be a really good listener, okay? Because I'm going to do some different things with the sticks, and you need to do what I do, okay? So can you watch me with your watching eyes? And then can you listen with your ear so you know what to do? All right? If I say stop, I want you to put your sticks on your shoulders like this, and then wait for me to start again, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't know. Parents, are they ready? Are you ready? Here we go. All right, so we're gonna sit down and we're gonna just do, we're gonna hit the ground with both sticks at the same time. Good. Can you do it loudly? What about soft? So that you can almost not hear it. And stop. Good job. Now, parents, today we're going to have a bonus skill that we're tracking today, and it's listening. So during this activity, if you can keep an eye on your kiddo and see how good a job they do listening, uh, I want you to email skilltrack at metroselfgymnastics.com to let me know how many stars they should get for their listening. If they did awesome listening and they did everything they were supposed to do, and they're going to get five stars because that's the highest amount you can get, then I'm going to send them a video later this week celebrating their listening, all right? So if they did a great job on their listening and you think they deserve five stars, let us know. If they do a pretty good job but, you know, they got a little distracted or what have you, then it's a three. And, hey, if, if it just didn't work at all, then I guess you don't need to let us know. Um, but we'll keep working on that listening. But anyway, so let, let us know how they do with their skill, uh, with their listening skills, okay? You can email us how many stars they should get to skill track at metroselfgymnastics.com. All right. Sorry, kids. Ready? Let's do one at a time like we're jumping. Can you do it over to the side? What about the other side? Good job. Back in front. And stop. Good work. Can you take your sticks and go hit one stick with the other one and switch? Can you do it up high? What about down low? Behind your back? That's tricky. Oh, guess I'm doing it. I can hear the noise. And stop. Good work. Why don't we try just a couple more things, okay? Can you take your sticks and can you hit them together really fast? Go. What about slow? Good work. Can you go up high? What about down low? All right. Now we're going to have a little bit of fun. Ready? Stop. We're all going to have a drum solo. You're a drummer now in a band. You're going to take your sticks and you're going to hit the floor however you want to. And I'm going to count to 10. And when I say 10, you're going to go to right here to stop. Okay? Ready? Here we go. Drum solo. One, two, three, four, five. These are my symbols. Six. Nine and ten, stop! 
I hope you were a good listener. I can't wait to find out how good a job you did at listening today, okay? All right, we're gonna take our sticks now and we're gonna put them on the floor. Can you make, can you put your sticks together so that they're aligned? I know it's kind of tricky for you guys. Good job, you can put them down on the ground. All right, now I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our sticks actually off to the side. We can say, thank you sticks, that was fun. We're gonna put them over here. If you have a drink of water and you wanna get a quick drink of water, go ahead and take a quick sip. I know I am. Good work, okay. Now, we're going to do some gymnastics together today, okay? So, I hope you have good open space. Uh, if you have um, a soft floor, maybe you're doing this in the same room as last week, that works. Um, but we're gonna work on our forward roll. Again, we're just gonna review that really quickly. And then we're gonna do some beam skills together, okay? And our skill of the class is, I'm gonna decide right here right now, it's gonna be walking forward, on the balance beam, okay? So let's first go to our forward rolls. Um, so parents, you're probably going to want to help your child with the forward roll. Um, I meant to bring a uh, doll to class with me so that I could demonstrate better how you uh, want to position and, and, and help support your child through their forward roll. Uh, but nonetheless, I will do my best to show you with me, okay? So if you can have your child stand up, I might be a little out of picture here, but they're gonna reach up high. Go ahead, reach to the sky. Good. Now we're gonna to touch our toes. Where are your toes? Can you touch them? Reach down, touch your toes. You can bend your knees. Parents, here's where you're going to wanna to help your child if they're not familiar with their forward roll. They need to tuck their head so they look for their belly button. So instead of their head like this, they wanna to tuck to look for their belly button, okay? So you may need to help direct them with your hand by gently showing them how to tuck. And then when they go to do their forward roll, parent, you're gonna to wanna to take your hands and have them on either, on, on each hip rather. And as they go to do their roll, you may need to lift their hips a little bit to help them get over into their roll, okay? So we're, we'll start from the beginning. We're going to stand up. We're gonna reach for the sky. Good job. Can you touch your toes? Good, you can bend your knees. Now we're going to tuck our head. Can you look for your belly button? We're gonna look for it, tuck, tuck, tuck. Parents, hands on hips of your child. And we're going to put the head down and roll. All right, good job. Let's try that one more time. We're gonna reach up high. We're gonna to touch our toes. Ooh, we're not gonna fall backwards. We're going to tuck our head. Can you tuck? Looking for your belly button. Put your head down and roll. Good work, everybody. Okay, so that is our forward roll. Now we're gonna do one other roll before we get into our beam work, okay? This is a log roll. For this one, I just gonna move something so I have enough space. You always wanna make sure you have enough space to be able to do your activity. I'm going to lay down flat with my arms uh, going on either side of my head, and I'm gonna roll my body. So I might be a little out of picture, I'm sorry, but we're gonna lay flat and we're gonna roll our body. Maybe I'll show this way, this will be better for you. All right, I'm laying flat, my arms are straight, one arm on either side of my ear, and I'm going to roll, keeping my arms nice and straight. My body, log roll, good, all right, now that's a fun one that uh, you can do really anywhere in your house as long as you have plenty of space so that when you stretch out your arms and your legs that you can roll like a log, you'll be good to go. Now, we're going to work on our balance beam skills for the day. This is my balance beam, hopefully you can see it. I put these lines across so you might be able to better see the beam, but I have a beam here that I'm going to be walking across, okay? Now, you may have an actual beam at your house, and if you do, that's awesome, but if you don't, that's okay. I don't have a beam either. So I use some tape 
to make a beam on the floor. Looks to be about four or five inches wide. But we're gonna work on walking forwards and backwards and sideways on our beam today, okay? So first, you wanna stand on the beam. You can have your feet kind of side by side. Hands are gonna go on your hip, and we're on your hips rather, and we're going to go step one foot in front of the other as we walk on our beam. Try to walk in a straight line if you can. Good job. And then we're gonna turn around because we're just going to do our forward walking on the beam. Now, normally, if we were on an actual beam that's up off the ground, you'd probably wanna put your arms out like an airplane to help you balance. But because my beam is flat on the ground, I'm gonna put my hands on my hips. That will still help me balance. We want to make sure we walk nice and straight along our beam, okay? So one foot in front of the other, walking on our beam. Good job. Okay, now when you get to the end, we're going to try to walk backwards, okay? Now for this one, parents, if they need to shuffle to do it, that might be a little more comfortable for your child, depending upon how familiar they are walking on a beam. That's okay. But if they can go one foot behind the other like this, that's even better, okay? So why don't you start to walk backwards on your beam, all right? Try to keep your feet on that beam within the lines, okay? And then we're gonna turn, we're gonna go backwards again. If you need to shuffle, that's okay. But if you feel good and comfortable, Try to take one foot and put it behind the other one as you walk along your beam. Good job, okay? Now we're gonna turn sideways and we're gonna go side, side step on the beam. One foot out, bring the other foot to it. One foot out, bring the other foot to it. Good job. Now we're going to go back the other way. One foot out. Bring the other foot to it, one foot out, and bring your other foot to it. Good work. Okay, now let's try something different. Do you wanna try jumping on the beam? All right, let's give it a go. So you can have your hands on your hips and just go a little bit, jump. Can you jump your way down the beam? Jump. Jump. Good job. Excellent. All right. Good work. What about this one? Can you can you work on your listening skills with me? Let's try to do all of the things we've done on beam, but going that way. Ready? We're going to take a step forward. Good. Now let's jump. Ready? One, two, three. Jump. Okay. Now we're gonna walk sideways. Ready? Put one foot out. Good. Bring the other foot to it. Great. Now we're gonna go backwards. And we're gonna go one step, two steps. Good job. Now let's practice our skill of the day again, and that is walking forwards on the balance beam, okay? One last time before we are done with our class, we're gonna stand up tall, hands on our hips, and we're going to slowly walk on our balance beams. Take a step, and take another one with the other foot. Good job. Excellent work. All right, so just as a reminder, um, our skill of the day is the forward roll. So if you want to take a video, if you're going to be doing the skill tracking portion of class, if you want to take a video of your child walking on their balance beam and then send it to skill track, that's S K I L L T R A C K at Metro South gymnastics.com. Our coaches check that email pretty regularly so we can provide feedback on how your child is doing with their skill development. Uh, once again, there is an additional skill of the week, and that is listening. So if you think your child did an excellent job listening, 
please send me a video, uh, a bit, not a video, send me an email at the skill track at metroselfgymnastics.com email saying, hey, my child did an awesome job listening. They got five stars. And uh, if your child gets five stars for their listening today, we'll be putting that not only in the skill track section of the MSGA app, but I'm going to send them a special video letting them know how great a job they did on their listening because listening is really, really important, okay? We've got to learn how to listen so we can get really far in life, all right? So uh, let us know how your child did on their forward uh, walking on the balance beam. Uh, the additional one being their listening skills. And hey, if you're feeling uh, like getting a little bit more social with us, uh, why not take a picture of wherever your child is doing their class these days and tag us on Instagram. Our, ta our, our tag would be at Metro South Gym. So if you tag us, we'd love to see where you're doing your gymnastics these, these days. We look forward to being able to get back into the gym sometime soon with you. But until then, we'll continue with classes on Thursday. Uh, Coach Caitlin will be with you uh, once again to work on some beam skills. So if you didn't have a beam today, make sure you have one ready for class on Thursday. And you'll want your sticks as well. So bring back your sticks for class this coming Thursday for you and me at 10 a.m. Until then, have an awesome week. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Why don't we do a high five too? Ready? One, two, three. Hopefully you didn't hit the screen. Take care now.